the revisionist history of Brady versus Belichick. The New England Patriots will be facing the New Orleans Saints on Sunday, and though there's a lot to unpack for that game, I would implore Patriot fans to enjoy the peaceful serenity surrounding the matchup, because after clocks hit double zero on Sunday, all attention will turn to the former King of Boston, and now the Emperor of Tampa Bay returning to Belichick, and the revisionist history of Tom Brady versus Bill Belichick will commence. When you think about it, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick made history together. Six times they won the Super Bowl. They made nine Super Bowl appearances, 13 AFC Championship appearances. They won the AFC East 17 times so much for, so much so, that New England Patriot fans didn't even take winning the division as a victory anymore. It was just a given. So who was responsible for the dynasty? Well, you could say that it's Bill Belichick because he drafted Brady. However, when you think about the 2001 season, which was looking to turn into just as big of a disaster as it did in the 2000 season, Brady kind of came in after Drew Bledsoe was injured and turned the season around. Obviously, going all the way and winning the Patriots' first Super Bowl. Now, it's also fair to say the Patriots had an outstanding defense the first three championships. But it's hard to look at the 03 and 04 Super Bowls and think like Tom Brady had a really, 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 really big part of that. He was no longer just a game managing Tom Brady. You think about Super Bowl 49, you think about Super Bowl 51 in 2014 and 16, respectfully. Tom Brady was the catalyst, especially in that 28 to 3 comeback. But then you fast forward a couple years, the Patriots passing offense wasn't going very well, and the Patriots defense and Sony Michelle running the football kind of took them to the next level. Uh, but then Brady took pay cuts to try to sign more players. But then two of the best players that he played with, and he's still playing with one in Tampa Bay, Rob Gronkowski and Julian Edelman, well, they were drafted by Bill Belichick. So at this point, wouldn't it just be fair to consider it a wash and that both guys were equally responsible? And despite laying out any facts, the unnecessary debate will rage in New England because people are determined to find an answer to a question that nobody has asked. And there is still a big portion of the Patriots fan base, NFL fan bases, the Patriots media, and the NFL media who can't accept that both Tom Brady and Bill Belichick are equally responsible for the Patriots' success and for the Patriots' dynasty.